We always have a lot of different projects going on in the cellar. And one of these styles of wine that I particularly like is called Vin du Naturel. So VDN, as we call it for short, uh, is a style that I picked up kind of traveling around and studying in France with my wife, Laura. We went to this place on the top of a mountain called Saint Jean de Minervois in the southeast of France. And in this place, it gets really hot in the summer and the vines grow in what we call goblet. So rather than on a trellis, they're trained up like little trees that sit fairly close to the ground. And they do that to keep the fruit cool. And uh, we stumbled upon Saint Jean de Minervois and I fell in love with the muscats that they make. And while I was there, I said, you know, we grow a different type of muscat, but I really want to do this when we get back home. And so starting with the 2013 vintage, we began making a muscat-based uh, vin du naturel. So the basic process is this. We start the fermentation. Once we are around 6 to 8% alcohol uh, of the base wine as it's fermenting, we will add spirits to bring it up to about 16% alcohol. Uh, that preserves some of the natural residual sugar in the wine. It gets our alcohol to the point uh, that I benchmarked these wines were at. And with that first vintage, we just aged it in some stainless. Um, but we saved a good part of the original fermentation and we put it into neutral oak barrels, so older oak barrels. And with every subsequent uh, production and then bottling, we have begun to use more and more of this barrel base. So at this point, this wine uh, is entirely barrel fermented and similar to our Elizabeth port style wine, it's this sort of quasi Solera method where we make a little bit each year, we blend it all together, we barrel it back down, uh, and we pull portions out for bottling. Similar to our Elizabeth Port style wine, we don't top up the barrels all year. We allow some gentle oxidation to take place. It receives one dose of sulfur the entire year uh, until the next new batch is added and everything's kind of refreshed again. And it started a little bit of a trend. So in the cellar, um, we have and, and we have released in the past some Riesling based VDN. We've released the muscats in multiple styles, and we also have some Chardonnay going down there right now as well. These are fun wines. Um, they offer a great alternative to the dessert wines that we're all used to, to just sweeter styles of Riesling, let's say. Uh, this in particular is interesting because in France, they don't necessarily think of Vin du Naturel as a dessert wine. In a lot of the places I've been, it's seen as kind of an aperitif wine. So you go over to somebody's house and, you know, they'll offer you maybe some sparkling wine or some Muscat VDN and maybe there'll even be a couple ice cubes in there as much as a lot of us would think that uh, that's a bridge too far. So the thought behind having VDN as your aperitif wine is there's a decent amount of sugar, there's a decent amount of alcohol, and all of these things kind of start to get your gastric juices pumping, which aids in digestion. But it also works in something that you know, my wife's family calls the Norman course. So you've had your appetizers, you've had some charcuterie, you're working your way to uh, the main course in a meal, and there's this break where we take a little bit of this and we pour it over some like lemon or mango sorbet in something not much bigger than a shot glass. And it just works as a really good way to separate out this break in your meals. Um, gives you a little bit of fortification for the big course to come. And overall, I think just makes a meal more pleasurable. So, you know, don't necessarily think of this as strictly a dessert wine. There are lots of points and places in a meal to enjoy it. And on the nose, it's just characteristics of honey, honeysuckle. A little bit of that kind of muscat 
uh, character of tropical fruit. But the oxygen influence has started to dampen some of that. You can smell the sweetness right off the bat. And really good balance with the alcohol. Mm. The acidity and the alcohol and the sweetness are playing so well together on this particular wine. Um, it, it, it's just one of those, I, I, I kind of describe sometimes hedonistic wines. This is one of those. Uh, it's almost like you don't want to think about it too much. You just want to enjoy it for what it is. With that said, there's a lot of thought that goes into the winemaking for something like this. Uh, there aren't a lot of places in the country making this style of wine. So I'm proud to kind of carve out our little niche in the world of Vindu Naturale here in the Finger Lakes. Look forward to trying the Riesling and the Chardonnay. But in the meantime, uh, enjoy the flagship, our Muscat. Uh, it's one of those that'll be in our program for quite a while.